Hello everyone, welcome back on the channel guys. I am Ramke Singh, Unity game developer, YouTuber and blogger. In tutorials, I just discuss about the virtual reality and how it works and what are the things that we have to learn. Like uh, Apple is launching Apple Vision Pro, Unity is launching Meta Quest 3 or Meta Quest 2 have already launched, Meta Quest Pro have been already launched. They use for their input system. Unity have launched new input system from last two years but most of people don't uh, aware of it and most of people don't use it but if you are working as a unity developer if you want to create a new technology <coughs> input system because most of sdk is supporting a new input system so you must have to learn this new input system so in this tutorial i am just going to going to show you that how your new input system works how you can integrate in your application it will support on all your platform not in the virtual reality uh, devices it supports on your pc it supports on your mobile device it supports everywhere okay so so let's start the today video and i'm requesting to please watch full videos and just like the video and if you are new on the channel make sure subscribe the channel so let's start the today video so friend i will just start this tutorial from a basic theory and then i will show you that how you can implement in unity because if i will not say the theory so uh, you will just forget everything so first of all this is the installation i will explain how it works but here you can see new input system concept what are the concept if you are a user and there is a one device it may be your keyboard it may be your controllers it may be anything and uh, in device there are multiple controls like these are the buttons and if you press them so basically you are just with your application so basically what happened that on press you have to just there is a lots of actions in new input system so basically you have to perform this action i will show you that how and on particular that actions you have to write some code whatever you want to do this is the action method so basically it's support it works on the binding okay what binding it's bind your controllers to these actions i will show you that how it works and you know very well that your apple vision pro there is a uh, there is a controls through the finger so uh, uh, that will also come in new input system i have already explained in my tutorial okay so you can just read these things and i will explain that in the unity how you can perform this thing and here is the important thing new input access so basically you have to create one action asset and uh, if you are working with vr so basically they provide if you are importing xr interaction toolkit so in those interaction toolkit they provide all the bindings through your controllers like there is a in vr left controller right controller so there are there is a lots of things i will show you but if you don't have you don't want to create with vr you want to create for your pc so you have to create your action and then you have to edit the, your action so here you can see this window is uh, very important like this is the gameplay so this is the action map in the in the last and mid one is the actions like you want to move you want to jump so these are the actions and these are the key binding action property basically this binds and you have to access this one and then this will give you a value and here is unity provide a input system is a project sample project from the unity and you can just download and see that how it's working and uh, it is a very useful so you can just check it out in the unity i have created one project and in this i am just going to show you if you are using a vr project let me show you this is my vr project i have already set up so in the xr interaction toolkit they provide everything like you can see i have integrated xr interaction toolkit for most of vr it support xr interaction toolkit so basically they have created everything you can see integrated xr interaction toolkit so by default your new input system is active and this is the xr input actions basically when you click double click so here you can see actions map actions so they have already written so many stuff like xr head xr left hand right hand what are the position what are the controllers so there are so many stuff it's have been already written okay but if you have if you are not creating application for vr you have not integrated xr interaction toolkit so you have to add manually new input system but in the future whatever sdk is coming for vr ar xr interaction toolkit is must because apple vision pro is also supporting and oculus means meta quest was already supported 
okay so no issue for it just you have to know that how you can utilize this input action but in this tutorial i am going to show you that how you can add manually so i have created new project and it is very empty project so just go in the window and inside the window you have to go on the package manager in package manager you have to go in registry and in registry you have to search input so here you can see this is the input system and here is the new input system which can be used as a more extensible customizable alternative to unity classic input system in the unity input registry so just install it so here is asking a pro project is using new input system package but native platform backends for new input system are not enabled player setting so it asks for player setting so you can just do yes it will do automatically but your project will be restart i think it have been installed and you have to go in the build setting player setting and what happens when it restart so basically it's set in player setting new input system okay if your project support both means old input manager as well as new so you can do both that is not a big issue okay okay, okay so now we are in new input system so basically you have to create new folder new input system okay and just go in new input system and just right click and you will give, go on the create and in the bottom here is the arrow so just click here and here you will get input actions so just click here so now you can see there is a one power button means power symbols so just click on here and here you can see this is the controller this is the action map this is the action this is the property so just click on the plus and you can do movement okay action map is movement and in the new action so this is already by default or just you can click on the plus button now you can add the name of action so now i am giving move basically you can perform same on here but no issue okay i just want to show you that how you can create here and in the binding you can just delete delete here and what we are going to do is so just click here so just click here and right click you will get 2d vector composite so right now here is 2d vector composite so what we are going to achieve we are going to achieve that we want to use our player by using the w a s d okay w a s d so here you can see this is the up down so basically what we have to do we have to perform action so just click on the move and here you can see it is a button but we want to movement so there will be a direction so what we want we want value so just click on the value and here you can see up so for up we want to use w so just click w keyboard so we want to get input from my keyboard so i am just using keyboard and this is the down so what i want i want s so path s keyboard so now i have bind with x keyboard this is the binding means so i already shared with you that we have to bind these actions okay so basically what i am doing i am just trying to bind and for left we have to path a keyboard okay and on right side we have to a d so that is d keyboard okay okay great so now we have created our move and we have used this keyboards we have to not write code and if you are learning for first time so it may be difficult but that is not difficult because it is direction so that's why we have taken 2d vector and here we want value so we are using 2d okay after this what you have to do you have to just save asset if you are using control s that will not save so you have to do save asset if you don't want to always perform anything so just you can on auto save so whatever you will do here it will be just automatically save okay great so this is our window where you will create your all action the basic stuff and in vr it was already uh, there okay so we want to use in this environment so what we have to do is just off 
that is not useful for us so basically okay now it is just only plain just give five here five here and now it is big enough where if we can see okay okay so what i want i want to move my player here so what i need i need a player so just create 3d and this is the capsule so this is my player currently okay so this is my player player and here i just want to create one script let's create one script that is the player move me and here is our player so just assign player movement okay and just double click here and let's open it so what we have to access so basically last time people were here we have to use using unity engine and then input system okay and here we want to access our action whatever we have created so just do serialize field and here is action reference so here is input action reference and you can do player movement okay now we have used the player movement and what we have to do is just whenever we are using our keyboard means when our player is active at that time we want to get the data so we have to use void enable as well as void disable basically it is uh, similar to event so that's why we are using so what we need so player movement then action we want to enable so we want to use enable okay as a method and here what we want just disable okay great so now we have write the code to enable and disable whenever player is on so at that time we will able to get the data from keyboard now we have to get the data so what we have to do we want to move our player so just write update method and it update method we want vector 2 that is the direction and what we want we want player movement this is our action so just use action and then read values so our values is 2d if as i show you that this is the 2d value vector 2 so this is the way to read our values whenever we will click w a s d okay we have to not write that much code and one i want to mention that we are using action we can also add input action whatever we have created here directly but i think this is the simple way to do this thing so that's why i just follow this thing so you have to learn one thing because in one thing you have to be a very smart so this is the vector 2 and our project is vector 3 means it will go x y z not in the y direction so what we want vector 3 new 3d direction okay so just create new vector 3 and what we have to do is just in the x what we want direction x and you in y what we want no any movement and in z what we want so in z we want axis sorry y axis so now we have got the movement and what we want we want to move this object we want to move this object so basically what we need here i will just pass here but uh, basically we want just simple way game object and then we want translate need transform and then translate so basically we want a method that is the translate we want to pass the direction whatever we got the new direction so this is the movement thing but main thing is that how we are getting values here okay i'm just going to show you that how we can move so that time 
but here we want to move the speed so we can give 5 value so that we can easily see now we have done our bit okay so what is our bit we are just getting the input system and then we have input action reference player movement and in enable and disable just we are doing like a event enable disable on enable disable and then here on the update we are getting the value by using vector 2 this is the direction and this is the action dot action read value vector 2 and then this data we are passing the 3d because we want this direction in three dimensional uh, we want to move in x and z direction and here is the way to move okay let's back in unity so this is the player and here we got player movement so basically whatever we have created there you can see here we are getting x and map movement okay so basically it's create the child whatever we create there and just go there and here you can see x and map movement okay this was we created so just click on move now we have passed the value control s and save power camera so that we can see what happening on there so control save f we are playing here and you can see player is just moving w s this is the a and this is the d okay here you can see in the player we are just changing z direction and x direction s okay so you can see this is the way by using the w asd we are able to move by using the new input system okay so this is the thing and as i shared with you in the virtual reality if you have integrated xr interaction toolkit so you have to not do that too much thing but yeah you have to be aware that if you want to create any action x and map so how you can do to access your controllers data okay so this was my tutorial if you want to ask anything so just drop in the comment box and if you like the video please like the video and uh, just subscribe me and join my youtube channel if you want to give me support so you can just give me thanks on my video okay so that's it if you want to ask anything so just drop in the comment box thanks for watching have a good day see you in next video